Hey everyone, it's Ryan from the Device Casting Couch Podcast, and if you're like me, your internet provider may suck Cox. Sorry, may suck. Cox Home Internet comes to mind. What I mean by this is if you want to customize your network or just learn how to configure certain things like ad blocking, router-based VPN, or just simple quality of service, your ISP and their hardware may not be very helpful or may not have these options at all. Luckily for most people, there are options. You could replace the original router and modem, but that can be tricky and can be pretty expensive depending on compatibility. So setting up a second router is what we'll be talking about today. So first, you'll need a second router. I'm using the ASUS AC66U because my friend John had it laying around. Next, on the device connected to your original router, which I'll refer to as Router 1, open PowerShell and type ipconfig, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. Whatever shows as your gateway IP is the IP you'll be putting into your browser's URL, and that is the IP for Router 1. If you're having issues connecting to your gateway, make sure to turn off any ad blocking or privacy-focused extensions, and possibly any VPNs. Once you get to the login page, input the admin credentials, if you don't know them, ask your ISP or hard reset router one and look up the default login. Once you're logged into router one, set it into bridge mode. On most devices, this is fairly easy to find, but if not, call up your ISP and ask them why they're trying to ruin your life. After bridge mode is on, router one may need to restart. Next, power up and connect your router or router two via ethernet to router one. Which port doesn't really matter, but for consistency, I use port one. Connect your computer to router two and run ipconfig again in PowerShell. You should now get a different gateway IP. This is the IP of router two and it's different so it doesn't conflict with router one. Do the same thing as before, putting it in your browser's URL and logging in. At first login, it may ask you to set up some basic configurations, but if not, here's some things to change. First, make sure your IPs are indeed different between router 1 and 2. And if you want a bit of added security, you can always change the last two numbers, or octets as they're called, to something like 2.2 or 3.1, as this will change the default that most gateways have. I would suggest keeping these numbers in single digits though. Next, always change the Wi-Fi password and select some variant of WPA2 with AES encryption if you have that option. Most default passwords can be found pretty easily online, so changing these settings are important. I would also suggest changing the Wi-Fi name or SSID to something ambiguous for the same reason. Lastly, you may be wondering why my router interface looks weird, and that's because I'm using a different router firmware called DDWRT, and the reason is it provides a ton of options for customizing your router, even letting you run custom scripts that can be very helpful. It is a completely free firmware, and their website has a ton of tutorials and info on how to put it on your router and how to set up the many options. This video is not sponsored by them in any way, it's just good firmware. Also, as a note, blocking ads through your router, from my experience, only catches about half of the ads. Companies spend a lot of time and effort making sure their ads get through. So if you want something more targeted and aggressive for ad blocking, I would suggest something like a pie hole configuration if you want it network wide or simply using a browser extension, which do a very good job. Let us know if you'd like a more in-depth video into any aspect of this setup. Let me know if I missed explaining anything as well and I'll add it to the video description and give it a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.